All right, so on the bench, we have an LBZ engine wiring harness. He went ahead and he put in an alternate firing cam. So that changes the firing order, which you can, which you can see here. So it swaps two with five, seven with six, and eight with three. Um, so when you do that, the computer doesn't know that and you're not gonna change the logic of the computer or you know, the, the tune side of it to change that. So you're gonna be changing the actual wiring harness itself. All right, so we have the engine side harness laid out on the table. Um, the instructions say to actually do it on the body side harness, not the engine side harness, but this is our truck and his build, or no, our build, his truck, whatever. And um, we're gonna do it this way. So I took these brackets or these plugs off of this bracket. I marked with a Sharpie which one goes where. Um, the first thing you wanna do is take out these retaining clips on both plugs because you're going to be taking wires out on both. Um, they just have these little tabs here. They get under and just kind of get it to pop free. There's one side. There's that side and then fish it out from the wires and I did mark these two what side they go on they don't matter because they're the same but just for ease of not having to worry about it so the instructions which I'll put a picture up of just so you guys can see what we're working with um, it shows you the connectors of C108 and C107 it gives you the colors and the pin locations of which ones you're swapping so the only difference of doing it on the engine side harness is that this stuff is actually swapped so when you're looking at the connector here, A1 shows being on the left. A1 on this is actually gonna be on the right as you're looking at it. And they are labeled, um, they're molded into the plastic here. So just we're gonna follow the directions. It tells you which two wires to switch and we're just gonna do those. Um, once you get to the point of pulling wires, so the first one that we're gonna pull out is gonna be B <coughs> B6, which is a pink and black wire. Um, so row B, six, one down, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a big pin, and you'll see underneath the pin, I'll get a close-up of it, there's a black tab. You'll get in there with a little pick or a, a screwdriver, the black tab, and then you'll be able to push, push the pin out from this side or pull it out from the back side. Once you get it past that lock, it'll be... Be easy. So if you want to just put pressure on this one. Let up. Okay, pull it. Yep. So just like that, the pin's out. The pin's only gonna go in one way, so just make sure that if it's not going in, you don't force it and just check the rest of the pins and align it you'll be able to see the little folded tab on there so we're going to get the rest of it swapped over just follow the directions so like the next one we're going to take out is going to be a5 which is dark blue and white and so we'll put the dark blue one where this one just came out of and the pink one back where the dark blue one comes out of shout out to the dollar 79 harbor freight pick set All right, so this first connector, which is the C107 connector, is complete. There's four wires that you're gonna swap around here. Um, there was one difference, um, which may have to do with what that other side is, but this says um, that B7 was tan and white. B7 on here was black and white, but the way that you can confirm is that we know that green and black made sense. So we followed the green and black, and we found that the green and black one connects the cylinder number two injector 
And then with our cross reference here, we know that two and five swap. So you, we're gonna go to number five, which is over here, which they just happen to be labeled from when it was on the engine before. Good job, Huey. And uh, we can see that it has the black and white, which matches this connector up front originally. So that one's good. So the next connector, which is the C108 connector, um, it does not have any of these back plates on it that help retain the wires, um, but it does have this inner clip in here. I have it marked for the Sharpie just so we know which way it goes. It shouldn't matter. It should go in both ways. And you can get in there with a pick. And you just kind of catch, catch a corner with it. And we'll pull it out just like that. And then the same thing with these. They have a little... Um, it's like a little plastic tab that you're going to just pry up gently with a pick or a screwdriver and then pull out the wire from the back. So that was the third set of wires done. So we'll cross that one off the list. And then this little retainer can go back in place of this. Um, just drop it in, push it in my hand. Don't force anything. And that's it. It should be pretty much the same concept regardless of which Duramax engine you have. The pin configuration may be a little bit different. So you'll just follow the specifics instructions for that year range to show what pins you're going after. But as far as getting the pins in and out, it's it's pretty standard. Z L B L B Z F six five. L B Z. L B Z. Okay. That's what this is. Yeah, I can never remember yeah, that. Yeah, it's L B Z.